How's it going everybody? This is Mark with At Tech, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can control IFTTT actions with Siri. This is actually not built into the IFTTT app, which is a real shame because it would be really great to do this. If they integrated with workflow, you could do so many different things with Siri. But luckily there is a little bit of a workaround that will allow you to use the workflow app on iOS 12 and the IFTTT actions along with Siri to control different functions. So let's go ahead show you how to do this step by step and control any action with Siri. The way this works is to use the shortcut app on iOS 12, then you will use Siri to trigger an action that accesses a web URL. That web URL is hosted by IFTTT, and whenever someone visits that URL with the correct pin and code and everything, it will then trigger that action. So you're basically you're just asking Siri to load a web page, which is all it's really doing, but it's actually pretty simple. So we'll go ahead and make a new applet for this. We'll go ahead and search for webhooks. This is the IFTTT um, web API that allows you to trigger actions over the web. So we'll go ahead and connect that. You'll go ahead and click the connect button on step one. Now on step two, we'll go ahead and receive a web request. This event name is going to be unique to that action. So make sure you, you know, pick a proper name for it. We'll just do test action for now is what we'll call it. We'll go ahead and hit create trigger. Now we'll go ahead and choose that. And you can do anything you want. I am just going to have it email me just so that we can see what it's going to do. So we can fill out whatever we want. And you can do this for any of IFTTC support actions. I've used this and I'll show you a little bit later. I use this for my garage door. So I just use Siri to open and close my garage door. It works really nicely. So we'll go ahead and create this action. And then, you know, we'll click finish. And that is pretty much it. We are now done. And that um, is all we need to do on the IFTTT side. Next, we will go to the iPhone and set up the shortcuts app. So now we'll go ahead and get the shortcuts app right here on your iPhone. If you don't have it, just search for the app store, search for shortcuts, and we'll get this app right here. Now what we want to go ahead and do is create a new shortcut. As you can see, I have two other ones right here. We have open garage door and closed garage door. So we'll go ahead and make a new shortcut. And the first thing we want to do is go ahead and search for some text. So we'll have this text right here. And in this text is our key. This is our um, private trigger key that is going to happen whenever um, we call this method. This is like our password almost. So the way you find this is you go to um, your IFTTT, if you go to My Applets um, Services, and we can search for webhooks, we click on that, and then we can choose documentation. From there, it'll show you a template of the um, action that you can do for a URL, and it says your key is, and that is your private key. Don't share that with anybody, it's very private. Otherwise, people can open your garage door for you, so don't do that. So now with that, you'll go ahead and paste that in here. I, I'll just type, and um, private key for now, since you know, I'm not going to put that in there. Next, we'll do another text. This one is our um, trigger that we named. So if we remember, I called my trigger test action. And make sure it's spelled exactly the same, even with the underscore. And there we go. Next, we'll go ahead and do a URL. And for this, we will go ahead and also paste in the um, the trigger event URL that's on the IFTTT documentation for webhooks. And I'm only pasting in the first part up to the trigger point. Now what we'll do is we will do a text right here. And I'll go ahead and rename this. And I'll just call this the um, IFTTT action. Now this is going to be the um, actual value. Whoops, one too many. It's gonna be this one right up here that says test action. That's what it's gonna perform. So next we'll just finish typing in the rest of this. So we'll do slash with slash key slash, and then we'll do another text. We'll go ahead and rename this text to maybe the key. And so now, if we go ahead and click on Reveal Action, you see it highlights this top one that says Private Key. If we click on this one and say Reveal Action, it'll show this one. So it's going to pass in those two values 
for the two variables that we have done. So now all we need to do is just get the contents of our URL, just like that. Go ahead and hit advanced, make sure that it's set to git, and then whenever we run this action, it will go ahead and show you the web page if you're actually in the um, shortcuts app. It'll show you that web page um, proving that it actually works. But if you're doing Siri, then it's probably not gonna show at all. So now how do we do it with Siri? Well, we'll go ahead and click on this little gear icon up here. We'll say add to Siri. And then I will just say a phrase. We'll maybe say run test shortcut. And there you go. So now it's added run test shortcut. So anytime I tell Siri to run test shortcut, it will run this action right here. So let's go ahead and show you one of these right here. So I activate Siri, open the garage door. And then now it's going to go ahead and communicate with IFTTT and we'll go ahead and run that action with no problems. And there you go. That is how you activate IFTT shortcuts with Siri. It's actually pretty simple and easy to do. And again, you can use this using webhooks and any IFTTT supported thing. So now you can turn your lights on and off with Siri. You can open the garage door. You can set the thermostat. You can set your nest with that. It's really simple and easy to do. You can do some amazing things with that. So if this video helped you out, feel free to leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with Hat Tech, and I'll see you in the next one.